Welcome everyone. I am so excited to bring you our third Sweat Monday Night Meetup. We have another amazing session for you tonight and I'm going to show you that you can get a great workout in from the comfort of your own home just using one piece of equipment. So if you haven't already, go now, find something, anything from around your home that is heavy. Now while people are doing that, I just want to say that I'm really proud of you all for joining in with me each Monday for these workouts. It is honestly so amazing to see thousands of women from all over the world come together like this each week. I really loved seeing all your pictures, all your videos, all your comments from last week. So thank you so much. Keep them coming. Okay, so like last time, before we get started, I'm gonna answer some of your questions. So, Tamara from Toronto, Canada. How do I find other people doing this workout? I feel like I need friends to hold me accountable. The best way is to check out the sweat forum. So once you finish this workout, head over to the sweat forum, comment how you feel, comment how you went in this workout. You'll be able to find thousands of women from all over the world who are doing these workouts, but also tag your friends in this as well so they can come and do it with you and they can hold you accountable as well. Martha from New Mexico. How do you work out and have Anna? Who watches her or does she join? <laughs> does she join in? So no, she doesn't join in. I've tried everything. I have tried distracting her on the ground. I've tried putting her in the high chair. I've tried everything, even mum watching her. But the time that I work out and I'm most focused is when she's in bed. So every mum, every parent is gonna be different, but find something that works for you. When she's asleep, that's when I can really focus and get my workout in. Clara from Copenhagen in Denmark. I'm really new to exercise. What happens if I'm struggling through the workout to finish? So I'm gonna be here giving you modifications. I'm gonna be here with you, supporting you and helping you through this workout. But what's really important is that you go at your own pace, you slow it down and you really focus on your form. So don't try and keep up with me, slow everything down and make sure you go at your own pace. Uh, Lee from Hong Kong. I have loved the last two meetups, thank you. <laughs> Can I do all three of the meetup workouts in one week? Yes, you can, but just space them out. So these will be saved here. They'll be saved on IGTV and I would space them out Monday, Wednesday, and maybe a Saturday. So you can do them and you can mark your resistance workout sessions as completed in the sweat app. Okay, so thank you so much for your questions. I think that's all we have time for. We're gonna get straight into the workout, but keep the questions coming and don't forget to take pictures. Don't forget to take videos. I wanna see how you all go. Make sure you tag sweat. Let's do this. Sweat trainer Kayla Rizinas here, week three. So this is my at home full body workout and all you need is one piece of equipment. Now I have a dumbbell here, but don't worry, I'm not even gonna use that dumbbell. So if you have a dumbbell, that's fantastic, but I'm gonna show you a few other things that you can find around your house. So if you're hearing me talk right now, I want you to run and go find anything that you can. So here are some examples. I have a milk container, plastic milk container filled with water. I have a detergent. I have a book, so I'll be using the detergent today. So, no excuses, space of your own mat. We're gonna absolutely smash this. We're gonna start with our warm-up. Now, every week, our warm-up is the same. We're gonna get straight into it. Are you guys ready to sweat? All right, so let's get straight into our warm-up. We're down on the ground, and we're going to go back into child's pose like we do every week, and we're gonna come up, and we're really gonna stretch out our abs. So this is our warm up. Again, just repeat. Good, and stretching out those abs. So we're gonna increase intensity. So if you haven't been here for the last couple of sessions, we increase intensity. A few more seconds. Three, two, one, and into that rotation. So warming up our bodies, getting our blood flowing, ready for this full body workout. If you're joining me guys, full body workout, you need one piece of equipment. It can be absolutely anything. I'm using detergent tonight. Good, few more seconds. That's it, we're moving into hip flexor stretch. Stretching out those hip flexors like we do every week. 
breathe into that stretch. So you are starting in a lunge when you slightly step forward, really stretching out that hip flexor. Good, swapping legs. Breathe. Well done, stretching out our hip flexors. Moving on. So placing your feet like this, I don't know if you can see my legs, but it's 90 degrees and 90 degrees. And you're just gonna lean forward, stretch out that glute. Once you feel that stretch, you can hold for a couple of seconds, come up and rotate towards your back foot. So stretch forward. This is something that I definitely need to work on. Rotate towards your back foot. Good, one more. Rotate towards your back foot and swap legs. Going forward, back nice and straight, and rotate. Forward, and rotate. About to increase the intensity of this warm up by getting up. In a few seconds, we're gonna do some jumping jacks. It takes everything in my power not to say star jumps. Three, two, one, straight up and into those jumping jacks. Let's go. So we're increasing the intensity of this workout, this warm up, get our blood flowing. We've got 10 seconds more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and down the ground into mountain climbers. Let's go. So these last four exercises, this is what I use in my world tour when I'm warming up all the girls in front of me. So this is the same warm up. Let's go, keep going, push it, push it. You can also walk this out. And I want you to run it if you can. Warming up those body, warming up those abs. And up we go. So if you joined me last week, guys, my abs are still sore from last week. No lie. Let's go, keep those butt keeps going. Heels to your hands. You got 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five seconds. Four, three, two, and up into high knees. I can feel my abs from last week. I'm not even kidding. Things up nice and high. Warming up our body. Core on. Head up. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and round two. So down the ground. A little bit of a breather. Stretch back. Down and stretch those abs out. Oh, I need that. And back. Forward and stretch. Back. Forward and stretch. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. And moving in to that rotation. This is round two. We're only doing two rounds, guys. If you are watching this and you are not working out, I want you to get up right now, down the ground, and work out with thousands of other women across the world doing this workout. Swapping sides, sorry. Get in the zone, guys. Three, two, one. Hip flexor stretch. Now these first four stretches can also be done after your workout as well, so just remember these. Top legs. Really good breathing. If you are super flexible, which I am not, you can grab your back foot and bring it towards your bum, but I'm not gonna do that. You can do that. Three seconds, three. Two, one, 90, 90 stretch. So again, we are just warming up here, guys. 
Warming up that body. Stretch it out. Fantastic, keep going. One more. Swapping legs. Forward. Stretch that glute out. Rotate. Remember, we're jumping up from here, going straight into jumping jacks. Last one. And straight up, let's go. Well done. Keep it up. So I know that you feel like you're alone right now. If you're lucky enough to work out next to someone, that's awesome. But just remember, ladies, there are so many women all over the world right now doing this workout. So do it for them as well. Three, two, one, down the ground. Let's go, running. Push it, push it, push it. You can walk it. You can walk it. It still burns. 10 seconds, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and up. So I'm going ahead of you a little bit so when you look up you can see me do another exercise. Keep it going. All the way up. Going to high knees in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. High knees. Running on the spot. I'm honestly struggling with this from last week, guys. My core is already on fire. Five, four, three, two, one, and break. Whew. Okay, so now that we've warmed up, we're going to get into our workout. Now, I hope by now you have found your one piece of equipment, whatever it is. So, grab a drink, grab your Whatever it is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab my detergent. Okay. You can even use your drink bottle. Okay. Here are circuit one. So, three exercises, three rounds. The first is a squat thruster. So, we are, however you wanna hold it. So, I'm gonna hold like this. We're gonna go down and push above our head. So, that is exercise one. Exercise two is into a bicep curl. So, whichever way feels comfortable for you, we're just gonna bicep curl up, and then we're gonna go down to a Russian twist. So, from side to side. You can have your feet on the ground as well. I'll talk you through it, so let's get straight into it. This is circuit one, three exercises, three rounds, three, two, one, let's go. So on your chest, straight up. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. So each one of these exercises will go for around 20 to 30 seconds. So if you start to feel tired, don't worry. We'll be swapping exercises. When we finish this workout, ladies, I want you to post in the comments below what you use for this workout. It can honestly be anything. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and moving into a bicep curl. So bringing it up and back down. Up and back down. It seems like when you do this for long enough, it burns so bad. Keep going. 15 seconds, 14. 13, I'm gonna make it harder. You can increase the intensity, you can increase how fast you're going. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Down the ground, I'm going side to side. Side to side in a Russian twist. And yes, absolutely, if you have a dumbbell, you can use your dumbbell, but I'm gonna show you today how you can work out with just 
anything around your house. This is round one. We've got 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Back into squat. And push. Well done. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Into that bicep curl. This is a nice break you can take with this exercise. Take a second to breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. It's good, keep it going. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five seconds, four, three, two, one. Now I'm definitely gonna stop before you and move into the next exercise so you know what the next exercise is. So if you see me stop, I don't want you to stop with me. I want you to keep going until I count you down to the next exercise. So I might get up a few seconds before you, but I want you to keep focused, keep working out until you hear three, two, one. Speaking of that, five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Last, oh, it's not my grip. Last round. So this is circuit one. There are three circuits in this workout. Circuit one. 10 seconds, nine, keep pushing, eight, seven, six, five seconds, four, three, don't stop, two, one, let's go, bicep curl. Keep those elbows in nice and close. And don't swing, you don't want to drop the weight. Up nice and controlled and down. Up nice and controlled and down. Keep it going, 15 seconds. It is burning. Five seconds. Four, don't stop, I'm stopping, but you don't stop. Three, two, one, down the ground with me. Let's go, this is the last round. Last exercise. Last exercise, 20 seconds. Now you can definitely slow this down. You can place your feet on the ground, up to you, whatever feels comfortable. You're focusing on that rotation. Those abs are burning. 10 seconds, nine, eight, keep going. Seven, six, five seconds, four, three, two, one, and break. Okay, grab a drink. I'm getting a drink. All right. Once we've had a drink, we're gonna to go to circuit two. Okay, the exercises in circuit two are, are reverse lunge. So starting at the top of your mat, holding your weight, whatever you have on your chest. If you're advanced, you can hold it over your head. I'm not gonna do that, I'm gonna hold it to my chest. And we're gonna reverse lunge, alternating legs. The next exercise is a plank and drag. So. We're in a high plank position and we're just dragging the weight to the opposite hand across the ground. Plank and drag. Then we're doing a bent leg jackknife. So a little bit of abs. You know I love these. These are my favorite exercise. Holding our weight, bending our knees, opening up, crunching back in. Bent leg jackknife. Like I said, three exercises, three rounds. You got this. This is circuit two of three. Are we ready? Three, two, one, let's go. 30 seconds of reverse lunges. That's it. Feel good. Keep it up. Seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, 
Five seconds, four, three, two, weight on the ground and you're in a high plank position and you are just dragging the weight across. Drag your weight across. Doing well. Keep going. That's it guys, keep that core nice and strong, nice and strong with that core, five, four, three, two, one, and out and back in, out and back in. Now if at any point you're struggling, you can put the weight down, you do not have to use the entire workout. I was going to show you how you can use it in this workout. So if this is too much, you can place the weight down and do a body weight. Keep it going. Breathing through this. Three, two, one. Let's go. Round two. There's always three rounds. That's it, back nice and straight, reverse lunge. This one's good as well because you're not jumping. So if you're in an apartment right now, your neighbours won't hate you. It's good. Keep it going. Three, two, one, down the ground. Drag the weight across. Thirty seconds. Each of these are thirty seconds. So remember, you don't have to work out for longer than thirty seconds. Ten seconds to go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bent leg jackknife. Breathe through these. Do not hold your breath. The further you put your legs out and the lower they go, the more of a stretch you're going to get. So if you're feeling you're struggling, you don't have to bring them out too far. You can do little mini movements. Totally up to you. Starting our last round. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. This is our last one for this circuit. Reverse lunge. 15 seconds, 10 seconds, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, drag that weight. I, honestly, I said it before and I'll say it again, I can still feel my abs from last week's workout. Abs and cardio was intense. That's it, dragging that weight across. Finding this too hard, just hold that high plank. That's it. Five seconds. Four, three, two, turning around. Let's go out and back in. This is your last 30 seconds. Let's go, you got this. You, you have this, I know this is hard, I know this is burning. 10 seconds, nine, eight, stay with me. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Woo! Break. All right, grab a drink. You are smashing this. If you have been with me, this is your third workout with me. Wow, I'm proud of you. Okay, ready. <laughs> Are we actually ready? Yes. Okay, this is our last round, but unfortunately, it doesn't have three exercises. It has six. Six exercises, three rounds, but we totally got this. You got this. You're at home. You're sweating it out. You are sweating it out with thousands, and I'm telling thousands and thousands of women 
all across the world want you to do well. So get in your, get in your head, let's go. You totally got this. Okay, here are the exercises, six exercises. The first one, we're just going from side to side. So this is an alternating lateral lunge. We are then gonna hold our weight. We're gonna do a crisscross. So you're going crisscross. We're adding a little bit of cardio into this. We're gonna do a push up and reach. So that means placing your weight or whatever it is on the ground. You're gonna push up. When you come up, you're gonna to touch that weight. You are then gonna do a single arm row, which means you're bending over and we're just rowing up, single arm. Then we're gonna get into a side plank and hold. So down on the ground, you're with me guys. This is your drink break. Make sure you've had a drink, side plank and hold. We're gonna do both sides. And then we're gonna go into a straight leg jackknife, which is like this. Okay, are you ready to sweat? This is our last circuit. There are three rounds, six exercises. Let's go. Three, two, we got this. One, let's go. Side to side. That's good. Ten seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Chris Crush. That's it. So adding a little bit of cardio into this workout. Get that heart rate up. If it's not already, mine is. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six. You got five seconds, four, three, two, one. And we're doing that push up, touch, push up, touch. Now, absolutely yes, you can go into your knees. That is totally fine. They are both correct. Both push ups. Totally up to you. Ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Single arm row. So bending over and rowing up. Now you don't want to jerk your arm up too far. Really focus on those back muscles, drawing in and rowing up. We're doing one hand, pick any arm, I don't mind. One hand on the spot just here. Good, 15 more seconds with that, just one arm. And sit back, you don't want to be leaning forward, otherwise you'll lose balance. Bend those knees, swap hands. Rowing up. Focus on your back. So what muscle is this working? Think. What muscle is this working? This is your back. Really focus. Keep that core on. 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5 seconds. 4, 3, 2, down the ground. And we're going side plank and hold. So don't lose balance. Up into side plank. And we're up and we're holding that weight. That's adding a little bit more pressure. To be honest, I actually prefer doing this. I feel my abs so much more. 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six. Focus on that weight. Four, three, two. Let's swap sides, make it even. Arm goes straight up. You should really feel your obliques working. We got this, we got this. We got three rounds too. Five, four, three, two, one. That straight leg jackknife. Straight arms, straight legs, all the way out and back in. Breathing. So like I say every week, when I do these, my head is always up. Because if I don't have my head up, I feel like I can arch my back a little bit. I don't want 
to feel in the wrong spot. So by lifting my head, I'm able to press my lower back into the floor. Good, 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, let's go. All right, round two. We've got these legs apart, side to side, 30 seconds. Sit back into it. Breathing. That's good, you're 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Into that crisscross. This is, like I said last week, a fantastic, fantastic alternative to skipping. If you do not have a skipping rope and you see skipping anywhere in your BBG workout, you can just swap it out for some crisscross. Works exactly the same. Especially holding a weight as well. Absolutely fantastic. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. And we're doing that push up, push up, reach. Push up, reach, push up, let's go. Again, like I said, you can absolutely drop down to your knees. As long as you're making sure that core is on nice and tight. Now, I know that I've stopped, but don't you stop. Keep going. I stopped to explain. So I'll lose balance. That's it. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. That single arm row. Yes, well done. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. What did I say first round? I said, what are you working? Focus on. Think, my back. No swinging, no dropping. Control movements, up and down. Swap arms. Control that movement. Up, down. Makes you feel better. You go one, two, three, up. One, two, three, down. Keep it going. Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Side plank and hold. So I definitely have one side of my body that's stronger than the other. I feel like if I look at the camera right now, I may lose balance. So that's why I'm focusing so hard on this weight above my head. Notice when I swap sides, I will be able to talk to you a little bit more. Straight, 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 Five seconds, four, three, two, straight, one, other side. See? I can look at the camera a little bit more this time. And I feel stronger on this side. Everyone has a stronger side, I feel. So one side you might have to drop down to your knees, one side you might be able to do this perfectly okay. Keep going, 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five seconds. Four, three, two, straight leg jackknife. This is round two. We've got one more round to go before this workout is complete. So this is the time, and I say this every week, but this is the time that people feel like, yeah, okay, that's enough. I'll just give up here. I don't want you to feel like that. I don't want you to think like that. I just want you to think, Let's get through this. or modify the exercises to suit me. I might sub out the weight if it suits me. I might just dance in the spot or do something, but I won't give up. So you can say I completed this workout tonight. So I keep going. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five seconds, four, three, two, keep going. Let's go straight into it. Last round, we got this. Guys, I'm so proud of you. You're still going. Absolutely amazing work. Like I said, you are working out with thousands and thousands of people all over the world right now. You're part of something so special, so great. Four, three, two, crisscross, get the heart rate up. That's it. Let's go. Chris, 
crisscross, crisscross. Great substitute for skipping, like I said before. Hold away, crisscross on the spot. You're only skipping rep. 10 seconds, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5 seconds, 4, 3, 2, 1, push up, touch. Push it out, out of your comfort zone, ladies. Don't stop, I'm stopping, I'm talking to you. Get out of your comfort zone, if you're listening to me, listen to my voice. Totally out of your comfort zone. Everyone is feeling the same right now. We're tired and we're hot, but we're gonna keep going. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, up. That single arm row. Again, take this time. Breathe a little bit. Deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. 10 seconds of swapping arms. We're almost there. Swap. We're almost there, guys. We're almost done with this workout. I really want to see what you guys use for this. You have to post or use this in the comments below. Can't wait to see all the dogs, puppies, and babies. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. I've been coming up hot for a minute. Everybody Let's know go. the drop when I'm in it. I drop the top when I'm in it. Everybody know the drop really when I'm in it. You yeah, I'm focusing so on this young. side. I don't want to lose flow. I'm on. You already know not my strong come side, guys. Flow, and it's about to be a show Again, so if this is not your strong side, you can drop down like this. Okay? Five, four, three. Two, swap sides. Coming up. I'll forever be impressed with myself. My strong side. Let's go. 20 seconds. 19, 18, 17, 16. Oh my God, this is the second to last exercise. Come on, we got this. One more exercise to go. 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Last 30 seconds. Last 30 seconds, just push it, just completely push it. Go faster, if you can. Let's go, we're almost done. This is the last exercise, the last circuit. You can say you did your Kayla, Venus. Do it, workout for tonight. Let's go, 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, Six, last five seconds, four, three, two, one, and break. Woo. Woo. So proud of you. Well done, everyone. Make sure you stretch out your full body. I will be back next week for yet another workout. In the meantime, like I say, every week, download Sweat. If you love workouts like these, there are 650 at home workouts that you can do something for everyone. Make sure you share your comments, how you went, your pictures below. Let me know what you want to do next week as well. I would love to see that. I'd love to design a custom workout just for you. I will see you next week for another workout. Bye.